All right. Oh, yes, Bean. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lane, and I'm gonna make an update because I haven't in a pretty long time. Um, first I'm gonna start off with working out because that's why I just groaned like I was constipated when I went to sit down. Um, I worked out really hard at the gym yesterday, and I'm proud of myself because I actually ran like on the treadmill, and that doesn't sound like a feat for many, but I haven't run in years. I was actually diagnosed with asthma when I was in fourth grade, and I used to play a lot of sports, like I played basketball for a while. I didn't really like it, and then I started playing hockey, and I loved that. But I had to quit because my asthma just got to be too much for me. And that stopped me from running and doing a lot of physical activity other than just lifting. So I actually ran. Um, I did a little bit over a mile. I didn't run the whole thing, but like, I couldn't even, like, it was a chore to get out of bed today, more so than usual, because of my actual legs. Like, I couldn't actually, like, put my legs down and stand up on them. I'm really sore. Um, that's the first time I've really done anything other than upper body. I've been doing core a little bit recently. That's new. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, my progress has obviously slowed down a lot. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, it's still, it's still getting there. It's pretty good, I think. Uh, all my cats are here, like usual. Um, as far as my core goes, it's actually, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it well enough, but it actually got, like, a little bit of a four-pack thing going on. See that? Four-pack, do-do-do. Um, yeah, now it's going to be uncomfortable. Oh, isn't my shirt awesome, by the way? It's great Gatsby awesome book. That's why this little girl here is named Daisy. So yeah, the gym's been going well. I've been going a lot. It's kind of become like my safe haven. Every time that I get in a bad mood, I find someone to bring me there and I just kind of go there and I work out and I feel better. You get like a working out high. It's really true. You really do get it. Daisy! Alright. No. You, you gotta, you gotta move. Alright, thank you. Thank you, baby. So yeah, as far as that goes, working out has been well. Um, I still haven't gained a lot of weight. Daisy, no, here, come on. Get. <sighs> yeah, this thing, this camera is balanced on a glass thing on a like a what, just a footrest, I guess is what you call it. So it keeps sliding off. So yeah, I still have been losing weight, though. Not a lot. Like, I've gained weight from my initial weight. But I've still been losing it, um, which is weird because I'm not doing cardio or anything on purpose. I mean, I do warm-ups, obviously, but I haven't been doing any weight loss things. I've been eating more. Um, who knows? Um, yeah. As far as medical transition stuff goes, I did have an appointment with an endocrinologist. It went terrible. She had no idea what she was talking about. She basically said that she only treats male to females who are like 40 to 50 year old, years old. And that's bullshit because when we called the Yale Health Plan, which is where I go, like she was the one who was like, oh, I'll take the case, you know. And there's no one else who is experienced in transitions as far as writing out, the prescription goes for younger people, and especially up to end. So I got referred to another doctor who's in a nearby city, and he's very experienced. He's like probably the best in Connecticut, and I really like him. He really knows his stuff. He was actually like asking me questions, you know, like what are your primary goals? What's your timeline? Because I guess that he has been doing it long enough that he knows how to manipulate hormones in such a way as to... Uh, enhance the things that you really want to focus on and he was actually saying that we can do some tests and look at my growth chart and if my growth plates aren't like secure yet there's actually a chance that I can get taller and he can manipulate the hormones in a way that'll like really like help me grow more so than if I were just taking it to transition so that's really cool um, and my health insurance is paying for two visits with him so I went to the first one the next one was scheduled for December 16th, and that was going to be the meeting where my parents either said yes or no, 
and if they said yes, then he would write out the regimen for me to follow and then give it to the endocrinologist back at Yale, and then she would just administer it to me. But we went to the meeting, and my mom ended up moving the meeting to December 28th because she's crazy, and she's still not ready to accept it. So yeah, but as far as that goes, I really like him. He's really cool. He's really smart. Like, you can tell. He's not arrogant, but he's smart. He also is, like, Polish or something, I think, so, like, it was funny. We were in the meeting, and, like, he was talking about stuff, and he's, like, my parents are both there, and he's, like, are we happy, yeah? And my mom's, like, no. <laughs> it was pretty good. Um, so, yeah, that kind of stuff. As far as regular life stuff goes, I've been working on applying to colleges. I haven't actually applied anywhere yet, which is not good, but my first deadline isn't until January 1st and that's to NYU, and that's my top school, so I'm really hoping to get in there. And if not, I'm only applying to, like, three others. I only know what two of them are going to be as of now, but I don't know. Let's hope all goes well. Hopefully, I'll be going to school in New York City. That's my, uh, that's my ambition. Um, rah, rah, yeah, Thanksgiving just happened. Props to anyone who did not consume any meat or turkey. Vegetarians for the win. The next day was Black Friday. I went out at midnight to these outlets that are like 45 minutes away from my town with a bunch of friends. And they had like mad sales, obviously. And they have really good stores. Like, I went because it was J. Crew, And I'm a sucker for J. Crew, And I got like, J. Crew has the best t-shirts ever. Like, I love the way that they fit me. I love the way that, like, they're soft. Like, usually I don't like graphic t-shirts and shit like that, but like, I just really like their t-shirts. And I got one for ten dollars, which is cool because usually they're like thirty. Um, so they have like J. Crew, they have Ralph Lauren, Nautica, The Gap, Kenneth Cole, um, Brooks Brothers. They also have like Juicy Couture and Coach and stuff. There were ridiculous lines outside of those stores. Obviously, I'm not interested in going into them. Um, like, I didn't have anyone that I was buying for either that would want those kinds of things. So yeah, um, Thanksgiving, yeah, went around to a few houses, because my parents are divorced, so I was kind of running around, but it was still good. And then, also Black Friday was my mom's birthday, so she's 50 now, she doesn't want to admit it, so she's telling everyone that she's 40 10, um, because she thinks she's clever like that, but yeah, she's 50. We went out to this really cool Asian fusion restaurant in New Haven. And it was a uh, pretty cool, good atmosphere, good food, blah, 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 blah. Um, what else? Hi! She's looking at me. Daisy's looking at me. Hey. Hey, cutie. Hey. I, there's like something else I wanted to say, but I don't know. Oh, well, one thing. Um, I'm doing No Shave November, which is funny, because, like, I'm not on hormones yet, like, I can't really grow anything, but actually, like, I have all this, like, fluff growing all here, you're not gonna be able to see it, um, I can try, but, like, I actually, I've always had kind of sideburns coming in right here, I don't know if you can see it, like, they actually extend farther down than the hairline, and it was, like, two days ago that I realized I'm actually, like, it's, darker hairs are coming in right here, um, I still have darker hairs on my on my Adam's apple here. And then, you know, like per usual the little dark hairs at the tips of the mustache area. But not much. It's actually really annoying because like it I get a lot of like it's blonde, but I get a lot of fluff right here, like right in the crook of my ear. And it looks really dumb. I actually do shave and I like to shave because if you have all this peach fuzz on your face, like, most girls do have peach fuzz. And, like, guys will shave it off, so you look more masculine if you have it shaved off. Just because usually guys don't have that little glow from the light of when it hits their wonderful peach fuzzies. Um. Yeah. And there was also something else that I wanted to say, but I don't remember now. So, anyway. Oh. Well, my music recommendations. Um, the new Kid Cudi album was released. The Legend of Mr. Rager, which is Man on the Moon 2. Go get it. It's really good. Um, it's not what I was expecting. I would call it 
the instrumental album or like his album of choruses like the choruses are really intense the instruments are really good it's not so much an album for rapping like there are one or two tracks that I was like you know it's good solid stuff as far as rapping goes J. Cole he's this amazing rapper he's this awesome dude he can like spit out anything he's actually like he he raps about real stuff you know like he talks about life and he actually is educated he's a smart guy and his new album, his mixtape was released, Friday Night Lights, and it is impeccable. It is so good. You have to go get it. And as far as movies go, I don't go to the movies, but I went to the new Harry Potter movie because I'm in, I'm not going to say an ex-Harry Potter nerd. I mean, it's always still in you, but I mean, I was legit completely obsessed with the kid. So I went and I thought it was a good solid movie. I mean, obviously you can't compare it to the books, which I think a lot of Harry Potter fans do too harshly. Um, it was good for me because, like, if you haven't read the books, it probably wouldn't make any sense to you because there's so much in it and it kind of jumps around. But if you read the books really recently, also, that's also not good, like I said, because you'll be judging it. So it was perfect for a person like me who I've read all the books multiple times. I know the series, I know the franchise, but I wasn't currently reading any of them. It was a pretty good movie. It was really melodramatic, and after a while, the humor was just like too much corniness but it was okay it was pretty good it was kind of sad because it's like it's like kissing away your childhood sort of because like harry potter was my childhood in a sense and if i ever had any so whatever childhood that i had which was very minimal is now like going away like you know when hedwig dies it's like oh like there's one scrap of my childhood falling out of the sky um yeah. I've also decided, like, I, I kind of really want to get a Dark Mark tattoo, but, like, like it's kind of bad what it stands for, obviously, but I just think it's such a cool, like, tattoo and have it, like, right here. I was reading this thing on My Life is Average one time, which, if you don't know it, like, check it out to get an idea of what I'm talking about, but I guess, like, a kid had that tattoo in class, and the teacher was like, pop quiz, and he, like, looked at his arm, and he's like, I have to go, and, like, ran out. Um, if you're a Harry Potter geek, you'll get it. I think that's pretty awesome. So, yeah. And... Yeah. It's getting cold. I don't like that. So, I'll make another video about passing with clothing next.